Hello and welcome people, this is Dark Forest Shadows here and today I'm just going to run through my hunting and fishing equipment needs in the outdoor environment. I currently keep the items in my utility pouch. The reason being is with the slingshot elastic I'm able to attach this with the various stuff and tools in the pouch so I'm able to make a catapult slingshot whilst on the go instead of carrying the complete unit because I don't tend to do a great deal of hunting fishing in recent times now in the past I've done a lot when the laws were a lot different so this is more there in case should the situation arise um, but saying that if I'm doing a summer camp with the kids I may take extra four bearings to this amount and have a slingshot catapult bow and arrow day uh, all in good fun but yeah those two items are kept in there I was debating whether to create a small hunting pouch however this is covering my basic needs so I don't need guns and rocket launchers and all that business um, just going to delve into this very briefly I've got it on the top ready there's the fishing kit and also always being used and I have spare hanks of this snare wire because it's being used frequently for modifications and playing around with stuff I mean as an example this fishing kit over the years to develop this which I'm very happy that I have managed to complete has probably cost three times the amount of what the actual thing costs through trial and error and testing and working out stuff but yeah just going to run through this very quickly just going to bite the end off because it's wedged on there we go and it's in like a um, shaker tube let's take the top off there what we're looking at inside here first out is a nut and bolt <clears throat> sorry about the camera I spend more money on my outdoor equipment than the technology side of things because that's the person I am anyway if I can just pull this out what we have here I have a total of three this is a sewing machine bobbin very tiny compact it holds approximately between 20 and 25 meters a fishing line this one's a seven to eight pound breaking strain on here and the reason I've gone for this it's taken a while to develop however I have tested it and it does work and everything in my utility pouch is designed to repair and construct things <coughs> sorry in the field so yeah this would obviously I'd uncoil the line onto a stick or whatever or even around the tube and then I would place the nut and bolt like so to create the handle and then obviously another nut and bolt drilled through a stick it's not going to be for shark fishing or catching the Loch Ness monster but yeah it's there should the situation arise this one here is a, a stealth fishing line a lot more expensive I think this is a two to three pound breakage strain again on a bobbin they work well in the tube as you can see it takes bloody years to work things out but this is a dynamite little fishing kit 
just a single float you can make use of whatever things on your travels for floats and stuff um, and then here as it shoots out everywhere is the shot I have a fair amount of shot in this not like my EDC keychain survival fishing kit and again these are key ring loops um, the reason I got these I got three is I can attach these to the stick on the rod if need be saying that I prefer to do a stake line where you stake um, the line to one side of the river and across with so many hooks dangling down and leave it overnight however that form of fishing is illegal in the UK I do not participate in that but yeah small inclusion there the rings I got the reel I know you've got um, the springy reels the coil ones but again it's size and I like to consolidate everything here I just got three bits these are off of ear plugs I got the hole in I've just, just chopped it to make little tiny floats the ear plug obviously will be on the end but I've dismantled and discarded that so there's three a total of four little floats the other line is wedged in there I'm not sure what break in the strain it is it's been in there years now um, again with the survival bushcraft shift bug out side of things you start with basics and adapt and evolve this fishing kit has got to the point of no return it's sorted it's a small lightweight tube that's got a bit more punch than the EDC keychain survival kit here I have 10 hooks I'm not going to undo the tape two different size hooks smaller ones and bigger ones again I'm not out to catch sea monsters and varied size shot which is all there do a little close up um, I was considering, like I said, making a separate pouch for the hunting, trapping side of things. Again, with a slingshot, I know about the whisker biscuit. I have cable ties and stuff. I mean, I could use one of these suspended through the via the catapult slingshot for the arrow. I could incorporate a bigger one into the utility pouch. Um... Uh, but again, everything is as small and lightweight as possible. That is the aim of what I'm about. I don't need to be carrying half a fishing shop and half a gun shop with me. I'm more of a scavenger if something would happen. Disaster side of things, with my knowledge, I'm not better than, any, than anybody. It's just about learning and adapting your needs as such. I'm not a violent, horrid person. Um, but yeah, it's just good knowledge to pass on to the younger generation. So I'd like to thank you all for watching my hectic, boring, chaotic video, so to speak. But I know what I'm talking about. So yeah, going to leave you to it, people. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.